So, today my new headlights for Molly finally arrived from Germany. I'm super excited to install them and I was going to install them today, but something arrived that I was more excited for, which is what is on the roof rack of the Rally Miata. Who says Miatas aren't practical? As you can tell there, that is a new TIG welder, an ACDC, not the band, TIG welder. Huge thank you to Eastwood for sending out their products for me to weld and make awesome stuff for you guys. I'm so excited. TIG welding, why is it important? Well, with this TIG welder, I can now weld thicker steel, I can weld stainless steel, and I can weld aluminum. So I can make exhausts, I can make headers, manifolds, my headlights dented. I can make intakes, I can make intercooler piping, I can weld radiators, I can weld intercoolers, I can weld flanges on valve colors, on anything. I can literally weld anything with this new welder. I could do a lot of that stuff with the MIG welder, but MIG welding aluminum, MIG welding stainless steel just doesn't work as well. So that's why this TIG welder is going to be awesome. It's perfect timing because now when I go to make the exhaust for the drift truck, I can use TIG welding. Uh, I can make the new intake for the, you know, the truck. I can fix the exhaust on the railing Miata. I can make a new downpipe for Molly. I can do everything now. Obviously, I am going to need quite a bit of practice before I'm good with it, but it is a really good welder. Uh, in fact, the people who made the headers on the drift truck, the welder they use is actually this welder, so it's like perfect. Eastwood also sent me out their new panoramic welding helmet, which is gonna be a much better improvement over the one I have now, and a welding jacket. Because just like you, they're tired of watching me uh, weld with sh shirt sleeves on. So today we are going to unbox the welder. We are going to make a new welding table. It's gonna be like a stand welding table, so I can weld stuff on it, and it's gonna house the new welder. The one thing is that this is a 240 volt welder, and I only have 120 volt electricity in here. It will work with 120 volt, but I won't be able to weld thick stuff. So I need to get a 240 volt electrical system in here, which is kind of expensive. I could really use your guys' help with that. So if you wanna help me get 240 volt electric in this shop, go head over to my Patreon. I'd really appreciate it. Either way, it will happen, but uh, it's not gonna happen for a while without your guys' help. So let's go ahead and get started by unloading this welder and unboxing everything. This makes my old welder look tiny. So the cool thing about this mask, look, it doesn't have one thing, it's got one on each side, so. I can put it on and I can see, I can see my hand right now. And normally the other mask is just right here. Oh, it's so cool. And the other thing that's really awesome about this mask, it's actually colored. So when I look through it, all the colors actually look like colors. So yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. Now, I wanna put the welder together, but I don't really know what to do, so I'm gonna read the instructions for a while. Before I do that, I'm gonna go pick up the uh, buttload of metal I ordered to make a welding table. This welding table is gonna be five feet by three feet by two feet. Spent like 250 bucks just on metal alone, so. That sucks, but I guess it's cheaper than a, you know, five foot by three foot by two foot bench. That would probably be like 500 bucks. Gotta look at the positives, right? It's gonna roll. Now, obviously I can't go pick up 50 feet worth of metal in a Miata, even if it has a roof rack. So it's time to hop in the bus. That's a big RIP. Air gas doesn't have any gas tanks. So that means I can't do any welding in this video, but I can still build a welding car and I can assemble everything uh, on the TIG welder. But it like, it's air gas. That's, their only job is to have gas and they don't, they don't have it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. So uh, I just had a lovely little uh, lunch at Steak and Shake. I called Metal Supermarkets to make sure my metal was ready. Turns out they lost my order and they didn't they didn't do it. So that won't be ready today either. So pretty much I can't do anything today. We're gonna go back to the shop, assemble the Wilder, talk about the differences between MIG and TIG. And then in another video later this week, I will build the welding cart and start practicing my TIG welding. Right when I got back to the shop, I got a call. Metal Supermarkets is like, hey, we found your order and it's done. But since I had already come all the way back to the shop, it's too late for me to go pick it up now because they close in 30 minutes and it's 45 minutes away. All I pretty much did today was waste a bunch of diesel. That's fine, whatever. A little frustrating, but let's go ahead and put this TIG welder together. That's it, it just plugs in. <laughs> now, big welding and TIG, TIG welding. There's a, a couple big differences. Pretty much the way welding works, you have two pieces of metal you wanna weld together, you heat up that, the metal really, really hot so it melts together, and then you have to add filler rod into it to build it up to a, a right thickness. With MIG, everything is done automatically. You have the gun, you pull the trigger, it you know heats up the metal, melts it together, and then automatically fills the weld with filler rod. It feeds it through the gun. TIG, it is done manually. Here you have the torch, I believe is what you call it. You either click it right here or use the foot pedal to start the arc and heat up the metal. And then with your other hand, you dab little filler rod into the weld. This is why a lot of people say it's harder because you have to do everything you know, yourself. The trick is that the tungsten at the tip of the torch, you can't touch that to the metal. As soon as it touches the metal, it you know goes bad and you have to get a new one. You have to hover it just barely above the metal in a perfect line while consistently dabbing the filler rod on it. Man, am I excited to use this thing. <laughs> There's only one thing that gets me more excited than car parts and that is uh, tools, fabrication tools, and this is just gonna be so awesome. I, just, I can't wait to just... This is the uh, grounding cable, obviously. Everyone knows what that is. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Obviously, I meant for it to be much longer and much more in-depth, but um, things happen, I guess. Later in this week, you'll see me testing out this welder and you will see me building a welding cart. Yet again, huge thank you to Eastwood for sending out this welder and the other products. I am gonna test the helmet before this video ends, but Eastwood has a discount code for you guys. So if you want to get some tools, use this discount code at Eastwood and you get the hookup. Boom. I feel too professional now. I'm definitely excited to get a welding table made so I don't have to weld on the ground. This is so weird, looking through a mask and being able to see. I'm almost scared that it's not gonna darken because it just, it just, it doesn't feel right. It feels like I'm not wearing anything. Oh yeah, <laughs> that works, that's cool. I'm definitely excited to use that welder, which can weld this thicker steel a little bit uh, safer. Uh, this thing definitely does not get full penetration uh, with the settings I'm using on like, you know, quarter inch steel. I'm excited to have a new mask. I'm also excited just to have two masks, because now one of my friends can look at me welding, kind of figure out what I'm doing while I weld. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna be it. Like the video if you enjoyed, and if you're excited for all my new fabrication stuff. Dislike the video if you didn't enjoy, but tell me why. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and goodbye. I'm not gonna touch the camera, because uh, these are kind of gross, so. Goodbye.